Hey, what's up guys? It's 99. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you a quick video on how to do a, uh, I guess just a quick workflow on how I make a beat in Beatmaker 2. It's, it's going to be real simple. I've already got the sample chopped up, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to, how to load a sample and how to, uh, I guess, adjust the bounds, which are the slice points. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now I'm looking for a sample, right? I'm looking for a sample to chop up. And the way you do that in Beatmaker is you go to a new uh, drum instrument. This one I've already got loaded up. I've got everything spread out already. So I'm just going through the process of showing you how to load up a, a sample. Okay, so you go, you got your uh, your drum instrument, right? You select the sample or the waveform right here on the left. You select that and here you'll have load, record, edit samples, edit bounds, fade in, fade out, and clear. And you just select the pad that you wanna that you wanna load the, the sample to. So I'm gonna hit load and then you you get this. This is the root folder here. So I have everything under my content, under sample libraries, and then I have the different sample libraries that I've imported already. Uh, what I'm gonna look for right now is under my patch banks soul samples library and then you can just scroll through all of your uh, your samples now the thing about this is you have to actually hit the play button in this little square here and um, it'll play it if you select or highlight another one it cuts it off but it doesn't automatically play it so you gotta hit play again and cut it off So this is the one I'm going to use. And when you find the one you want to you want to use, you hit the load button down here. <clears throat> Since I've already loaded it, I'm not going to hit it, but that's where you would hit. Okay, so now I have I've already got it loaded. I'm sorry, and I got to that page by hitting Edit Samples. Edit Samples will take you to the Waveform Editor. And you can just hit the little play button here and you'll watch your playhead go across. And down here you have different options. You have your, B or your BPM signature uh, button. That allows you to set the tempo for the sample. I've already set it. It's 86. And if you have it in the sample name already from you know the, the sample library that you have, if you're using a uh, purchase sample library some of them have the BPM in the file name itself so you can just set this down here to that by using the plus uh, plus and minus buttons or by just swiping this one was 86 BPM okay then you hit done and it'll ask you if you want to save or actually no it won't and then um, I'm gonna back out by using the X button up here discard because I've already made all my changes prior to this and um, you can edit the bounds of each one and that takes you here to this page and the bounds is basically the slice points and see it reads pad A1 down here you hit the next button it will progress you to the next pad and you see all my slice points there and you can play them by selecting navigate and you can edit the slice points here by dragging you can do that you go to your next one next one next one so I have it spread out across the 16 pads here okay so now that I've got everything spread out across my 16 pads okay now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record a pattern you can change your recording parameters up here under the record uh, right up here you have song and record you hit record and it'll give you a drop down recording record settings um, up here you have the track that it's going to be recording to 
and that's useful if let's say you go to the the track view and right here track 2 is where I have this drum instrument on see it's the purple square and that corresponds with these uh, 16 pad grid and it's in purple so you can double up the tracks and you select which instrument you want to create a track for and I'm gonna create a track for that purple one again so now I have track 2, 4, and 5 assigned to the purple track. You can name them as well. Rename, make it my sample. Sample bank, or my just samples. Okay, so now that one says samples. On this one, let's say you have, on bank B, you have a different sample set. I'm going to have um, my strings on that one. And now that's useful because let's say you go back into your drum your drum machine and in record it's gonna it'll have changed the names up here. So you've got these samples on bank A you can record it to the sample track. Bank B I have my string sample. So if I were to record this pattern I would do that to the strings track. Then you got your quantize grid, you can enable it, disable it. Uh, swing, you can turn your swing on and off and give it a percentage. Um, you can have it alternating as well. Uh, Pre-roll, that's for your count in. I have it set to one bar and I have it enabled. And down here you have your note repeat, note overdub, and note erase. These aren't highlighted right now, they're grayed out. That's t undo take and undo last. They're grayed out because I haven't done anything yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to record onto the samples track. We're going to go back to bank A because that's where all my samples are. And uh, let's go ahead and record one. I'm going to turn the metronome, metronome on up here. And let's, let's record a pattern. Okay, so we got that there. That's quick. I really, you know, this is just for the purposes of showing how to, uh, it's just a little workflow. So we're going to do uh, the drums. I have my drums loaded on a different uh, drum machine. Already got it preloaded. Got my kicks here, snares, clap up here, clap here, hi hats, hi hats, just a little hit, and my tambourine, and then a and affects it right there. So we're going to record. This is going to go to track 3 because track 3 is assigned to this drum machine. Let's go ahead and do something real quick. Okay, I, so I don't really care for that. I'm going to undo take. And it's going to leave everything that was done before I hit the record button. So it didn't record any of my hi-hats. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's real basic right there. There was a snare in there that I added at the end that I didn't like. You can go into your DAW view or your track view and just double tap the, uh, the MIDI pattern that was recorded. And this is it right here.
And that's the snare right there that I didn't like. So I'm gonna highlight that, hit the X up here, and it's gone now. Close it. And now I can go back into my drum pad view and make some changes. Okay, so that was it. That was just a uh, quick little workflow video on a beat that I was making in Beatmaker 2. I use Beatmaker a lot because I ride the train. I commute on the train daily for a total of three hours train time. So the Beatmaker 2 uh, app on the iPad is a lifesaver for me when I don't feel like lugging around um, any of my bigger gear. So um, yeah, that was basically it and here's that finished loop.